All right guys, what is up and welcome back to a brand new video. So I don't know if you can tell, but we are not in Boston anymore. As you can tell, there's those live cicada bugs, but we are actually in Charlotte, North Carolina. And we're actually fishing with someone right there, Fletcher the Fisherman. What's going on guys? Yeah, some of you guys might know him. Um, if not, he's a pretty big YouTuber. Uh, there's a lot of collabs down in the South, so link them in the description. Definitely go uh, show him some love, subscribe to him, all that stuff. And uh, yeah, we're gonna be hitting up uh, one of the ponds near him, a little lake, and uh, hopefully we hook into some big bass. I pretty much fished this pond my entire life. I actually grew up in the neighborhood, like right next to it. And so I'd always like kind of like hop the fence when I was younger and come in here and fish it because it is a private neighborhood. But I actually have permission from some residents now to fish in here properly so we do have permission to fish here today but it is a really really cool pond I actually probably should call it more like a small lake because it actually is a pretty big body of water especially for here in Charlotte where just ponds are few far in between so I'm excited to get down here with Joe today and figure these fish out I think the biggest fish I've caught in here was like close to seven caught a handful of fives some fours some threes all that good stuff so I'm hoping just hoping that Joe right here might catch his PB today. I know he told me on the car ride over here his personal best is like right at four pounds. And that's just because he's a Boston yep. boy. And you know the fish just don't grow as big in the north as they do down here in the south. So our game plan today is to get Joe his PB. Yeah guys, as you heard him say, we got uh, it's caught like six, seven pounders out here. That's definitely uh, well over my PB. If you guys saw a couple videos ago when I actually caught it, uh, just under four pounds. So that's pretty big for a fish in, uh, up north, so hopefully we can hook in some big ones. Yes, yeah, so let's just go get these rods rigged up, uh, head down to the water, see what we can catch. All right guys, water is looking nice, and I don't know if you know, but I actually uh, flew in from Boston, so unfortunately on the plane could not bring any uh, sharp objects, including lures with hooks and all that, and rods and reels, so luckily Fletcher hooked me up with a nice uh, loose rod reel right there, starting off with Little uh, Texas rig craw. Water looks a little muddy, but should be able to still hook into some. So, see how it goes. Unfortunately, the water is a little muddy, so we might have to switch to a June bug color, something uh, that'll contrast the water. I want those fish to be able to uh, see the bait in the water. Try a little cast under this tree. Unfortunately, it is already hot. We are down south, so definitely hotter than back home so gonna try to fish these shady areas a lot of the bass are probably gonna be deeper in the water or under things like that dock out there hopefully uh, we got some bass trying to hang out under the shade and that's where we'll find them so right now I'm actually making a little bit of a move the reason I'm switching is because that craw just really did not go with the water clarity as you can see it's really muddy throwing a natural green color just isn't probably the smartest move so I'm gonna go with the June bug uh, Guggenbait trench hog has a little bigger imitation in the water and that color will contrast and uh, really stand out get the bass's attention hopefully so uh, we'll go ahead and throw that on and hopefully we'll hook into some pretty soon all right guys so there we go got it all rigged up right there take a look how it looks in the water oh yeah that's definitely looking nice i think this might be the smart move so unfortunately you did not see the blow up but basically i had that june bug trench hog on literally right next to this tree I kid you not, no more than two feet out from the bank, a huge blow up. The thing literally hit it like top water. Unfortunately, it did snap off and I lost it. Um, oh man, I wish I was filming, but hey, sometimes that happens. But anyway, hopefully we can catch him again. So gonna be going with this white chatterbait. Uh, got this trailer, it doesn't exactly match, but it's the closest thing we got, so we'll make it work. All right guys, so first pond kind of turned out to be a bust. We each hooked into one. Mine actually snapped the line and then Fletcher lost his. So we just uh, drove down the street a little bit. Fletcher said he knows this little uh, small pond. Also in the neighborhood, as you can see, it's right behind me. So we just pulled up and we're gonna uh, get fish into it. Water clarity definitely looks a little bit better. So hopefully we'll have good luck here and uh, get to fishing. Still going with that little white cat a bit right now. Oh, damn guys, we just missed one right at the bank. That guy hit it literally like same distance away as that other one earlier just reeling in that white chatterbait Fletch has just got a tiny little one on that square bill
Oh, there we go, guys. First one on the day, Caterbait. Uh, let's go. Small little guy, but he crushed it. I'll take it. First North Carolina bass. Let's go, bud. Definitely. Yeah. <laughs> Getting him on the board. I wish you got that one earlier that you missed oh, I on know. the GoPro. That one would have been huge. Get this little release on it, guys. See you, bud. There he goes. Looks like the small pond got it done. It's just what we needed. Already, like I said, I missed a couple bass. You heard me, uh, you lose that one, and then I got a couple bites over there, but finally hooked into one. Wasn't the biggest bass in the world, but it's all right. I will take it. First bass on this trip, first North Carolina bass, so pretty cool to catch him, and uh, hopefully we'll hook into some bigger and better ones. All right, guys, you just saw it. Fletcher just caught another one on that square bill. This pond is definitely what we need, and I'm surprised the, uh, the little pond is getting it done. Like I said, the fish aren't massive, but that is definitely okay. We're still hooking into him. That's all I can ask for right now. Kind of in someone's backyard, as you can tell, but at least we got another little casting spot. Stick with this for now, and then we'll eventually try to get over to those rocks. Hopefully we can, because I definitely think there's going to be some bass stocked up around there. So we just pulled up to the third pond. There's a the truck right there. Pond's right behind me. He literally pulled up in first cast. Fletcher throws in a square bill. It's absolutely smoked by a two-pound bass. Definitely a nice one there. We finally hooked into some good size, at least. Uh, that second pond that we had, we were definitely, uh, we at least had luck. We found the fish. They just weren't the biggest bass, as you kept hearing me say. But uh, luckily, we came here, and hopefully, we're going to turn things around. Literally, Fletcher's first cast pulls out with a two, two-and-a-half pounder. Definitely can't complain with that. So I haven't even taken a cast yet. I got to get rigged up. Uh, get in the pond and uh, make some magic happen. All right, guys, about to take my first cast in there. You can see I still got my white chatterbait tied on from the last pond. Gonna start off with that, take a few casts, and then uh, if we don't get anything, we'll switch it up to maybe a crankbait like Fletcher's using or something like that, and uh, we'll see how it goes. Water clarity kind of looks similar to the first pond we were at, a little bit muddy, so I honestly think the white chatterbait will give a good presentation in the water. Hopefully, we'll be able to hook into them. Also as a fountain, definitely pumping aeration in. And it looks like we might be able to get on this little uh, deck thing that overlooking the water and get a few good casts out there. But I don't want to get caught for trespassing because it looks like this pond is private. We're not exactly supposed to be here, but as long as we blend in, kind of like we're neighbors, I think we'll be okay. Damn, guys. Oh, we still. Oh, we got one. There we go. Thought we missed him right there. Oh, get in here, bud. That's what I'm talking about. Finally got a good one there. Feisty little guy. That's about a one and a half to two pounder right there. Definitely a solid fish. I will happily take it. All right, guys. So we just caught this one on that white caterbait right out there by the fountain. He absolutely smoked it. About a one and a half to two pounder not too bad finally hooked into some size this is my second one on the day first one at this pond hopefully we can get back in there and uh catch some more they're definitely hitting moving baits today which is good all right there you are buddy and he is off perfect to me man let's go hey hopefully we can try to get something even bigger than that like i said that was probably around 1.75 if i had to take a guess Hopefully we can hook into something around like three or four. That would be awesome. Maybe even catch my PB if we're lucky. Jeez, guys. Just missed one right there. Felt like a nice fish. There we go, guys. One? Yeah. Feels like a better one. Ah, uh, eh. Nah, not really. Pull you up in here. Got the third one on the day. Looks a lot similar to the last one we just caught. Probably about two pounds. Definitely getting some bigger size in this lake. Uh, another one on the caterbait, just straight out into the middle of the pond, just moving it. Uh, the white caterbait's definitely doing the job. So, gonna get a little release on this guy right here. There he goes. 
Awesome. We just hit number three on the day. Second one at this pond. We caught that other one at that small pond as you guys saw earlier. All on this little white chatterbait. It's definitely doing the job. And the trailer, the funny thing is the trailer doesn't even exactly match. But hey, it is working. The fish do not seem to mind. So that is perfect. Alright guys, as you can see, we have made it onto the deck. So this is absolutely great. We have way better casting room over here. Cast definitely way out into the pond in the open water. Uh, not too much of that uh, muck crab or whatever. So hopefully we'll hook into some over here and we'll see what we can get. Oh geez guys, Fletcher just hooked into one. Didn't even see that. He must have hit it right at the bank or something. Try fishing kind of parallel to the deck. Try to let this one sink down a little bit to the bottom. Kind of give it a little slack to work with. Oh, yeah. Oh, damn guys, we lost him. We just got a huge bite. I think that was definitely the key is letting it sink to the bottom. A bunch of these bass, when you're fishing in the open water, just because it is so hot, heat, middle of the day right now, they're probably all going to be sitting up low. So. As we just did, dropped that bait to the bottom, got absolutely smoked. Could not hook him though. Good bite though, I'll take it. Oh. Guys, there was an absolutely massive blow up just across the pond over there. That was crazy. One big bite like right over here. Oh really? Yeah. And then I looked across the pond, there was a massive blow up. Really? Yeah. I wonder if there's a way to get over there. That'd be nice. We're on this back side of the pond. I don't know if you noticed, but we just kind of walked around. There is another pond in the back of this complex, as you heard me say earlier. We were planning on heading over to that, but we were able to actually get over to this back side of the pond. Jeez, just about slipped in. But yeah, we got some good cast room over here. This is where I saw that blow up. So hopefully we can hook into something over here. So I actually switched up my bait. I went from that white chatterbait to this little uh, Sanko type thing. This little green and blue color combination. Going with the Texas rig with the bullet weight so it can get down to the bottom. There's one, guys. There we go. Finally got him. Oh, he's got me stuck. Oh. Oh, my, I oh, got him. There you go. Nice. Oh. There we go. Figured if we slowed down, we'd probably get some more out of here. Yeah. All right, guys. So right there, that is, I believe, the fourth fish of the day. This guy is real chunky. Definitely a healthy fish right there. Probably around the same, about two pounds. This one might actually be a little more. It's got a big old gut. Glad we could finally hook into him too. It's been a little while. The bite slowed down a little bit on this back end, but finally hooked into one right there. He bit it real good. Definitely an aggressive guy. So let this guy go. Later, bud. And he is off. All right, guys, so that fish right there was really fighting hard. He kind of frayed up my line a bit. So we're just gonna uh, do a little retie right here. That line was weak. Don't want to uh, catch and do another one and then have to lose it. So, do a little retie right here. We'll get rigged up and ready to go. Oh, guys, good bite there. Had a nice bite. Come on. We need that fish to come back for it. Oh. 
Alright guys, so that is gonna bring this video to an end. Had a pretty good day out there on the three ponds that we fished at. Finally hooked into some good fish there at the end. I want to say a big thank you to Fletcher for hooking me up with rods, reels, all that, taking me fishing. That was course, absolutely man. awesome. Of course. You killed it today, man. You absolutely slayed some, so props yeah. to you, brother. Thank you. Alright guys, so uh, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff you already know, and we will catch you in the next one. Peace.